You guys, I honestly uh, should have died a little bit ago. So what do you got there, Dan? I got a big mistake. A big mistake? <laughs> this thing is so cool. It looks like a little speaker, and then you hit the on button, and it turns into God's light. Jesus. Wow, that's gonna be awesome. We're totally gonna be able to get the shit. Oh, look at that. No, 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 it's like the sun. You can't look directly at it. Can you see me right now? All I can see is it's light. <laughs> Jesus. So we bought numerous types of bulbs. What, what are you gonna try out first? I'm gonna try the LED, let's see. Uh, 40 watt, some 40 watt, 450 lumen LEDs. This ain't looking good. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's that that not already. Bad. It's not super bright. Short people. It even tells you how much it's gonna cost, and you can plan accordingly. Ten bucks as I drop it. Don't drop it, Dan. You got this. Oh, I you got it, it buddy. How hot is that? No, I'm not gonna grab that one for you. You're gonna have to hang on to that. Catch. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it uh, has to warm up. Maybe it has to warm up. It's like a diesel. <laughs> the glow plugs. Let's see. Yep, the glow plugs are still engaging as we speak. This is not a paid sponsorship really by... Is. We're just trying to hook Dan up with some lightage. Yeah, I need some lighting, man. He figured... I'm a professional YouTuber, quote unquote. He figured I'd have this figured out by now. That's definitely brighter. We're just going like... Full light mode. Yeah, it? for sure. <laughs> Gotta bust up some light bars. <laughs> I was on that 3D machine level, I put a light bar in my house. <laughs> Mission light, success. It's we, we, we got some lights in here, and now we can start working on the little Harley. We got his uh, kill switch wired up, so that's kinda cool. We're gonna test fire it, make sure it dies on its own. So after we tighten the spark plug, we should be able to see if this thing's gonna run and die on its own. Because before, I'm sure you were just like pulling the spark plug off. Yeah, that's exactly how it stopped. Yeah. yeah. Ready? There hey! we go. Hey, kill, so. That's what we wanted. One thing down. Um, a like hundred. I mean, how many? Things, yeah. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. <laughs> how about this? You just like. Yeah, okay. Well, you just touch it. You don't have to touch the wire itself. <laughs> you want me to shock myself? No. Like I'm some sort of crash test dummy. Kinda, at this point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Shots fired. It sounds really mean. Dad's extremely excited. Dude, I'm just thinking about like... Are you pumped? Dude, I'm like... Should I get the power inflator? So we originally hardwired the light to always be on just to test the wiring because for some reason um, the wiring is goofy on this. It's incredibly complicated for something so simple. So after hardwiring the light always on, we then incorporated a switch. Now it's just sitting here mocked up and uh, Dan just wants to see how bright the light really is. I want it to run. That's what I want. He wants to see it run and work and turn on and off. Lunch time. <laughs> Dan's working on some wiring. I'm gonna work on my truck. So you guys are unaware that I actually went out and bought brand new winter tires. I'll show that video later on. But for right now, I wanna put my used tires on because these are a harder rubber 
than these winter tires. These winter tires are extremely soft rubber. They're made to grip well, and I don't want to just burn them up while I'm down south. There's no snow here. I'll slap these ones on, throw these ones in the back of the D-Max. Mission accomplished. I stole that piece of wood from Dan's neighbor. Do you think your neighbors will be upset that I stole their piece of wood? Where'd you steal it from? Their backyard. Hey machine freaks, 3D machines here. Gotta get the shot. That's Jax. I'm leaving Dan's house now. He suggested that I would probably hit traffic if I didn't leave soon. I dealt with crappy traffic on the way down. And now I have to drive another six hours, so I don't want to run into that again. But what I do want to check is my PSI in all of my tires, because these kind of look low. And uh, I hope this, I hope this thing's got it in it to put some air in these things. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. There's Jax, no food in there. Jax doesn't want you to leave. Jax, look at how sad he looks. He he pulls it off well. I don't pull it off very good. Your dog's wondering where that noise came from. <laughs> He's looking under there. Dan tripped the siren. Hey did, did you get my reaction? Yeah, yeah. Did on. you record it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That, that was, was really good. I'm just pumping my tires up, and then Dan gets in my truck and chirps my siren, and I jump. I was not expecting that, but it was a good reaction. I think I'm all set and ready to go. I think I'm all packed. Hotel to do it with Dan was awesome. That's not me. My truck's right here. I'm going further south. For how long? I'm not sure. But I'm excited. <laughs> I'm leaving hotel do it with Dan. It was a wonderful time. It I was, appreciate it. Dude, it was it was easy, man. It was fun. It, it was definitely fun. We got to work on the Harley a little bit. I worked on the Duramax. The Dirty Max. Dan even helped me pack. So. I did. I was like, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's right. got to go see his girlfriend, who's more important than me, apparently. So. Yeah, no, but... All right, well, thank you <laughs> No. <very much. laughs> Thanks, Dan. Hey, man, be good. Yeah, yeah, you too. Right. Take care. Later. Crazy how stuff just goes by like that. That's not good. I was really enjoying Dan's location last night at around 9.45. Now it's in the middle of the day and it's packed. I actually have to drive 17 miles out of my way to save 35 minutes. I wanna save time, I don't care about mileage. One thing I have learned going in, in and out of this traffic, the people down south, you guys down south, you're a lot more patient than up north. I exited the throughway. Now I'm at McDonald's editing my video for the day. I have my video uploaded. I've been in McDonald's for probably a good 30 minutes. I pulled off the throughway around 11. It is now like 2.15. I started my truck 15 minutes ago. It's still cold. Well, the air it's putting out is cold. And now the fuel station that I parked next to is closed. I was parked over there, and there's a gas station right behind me. And that was open when I went to bed. But after waking up, it was closed, so now I came across the street. And my heater has yet to kick in. I'm kind of chilly. I'd be completely frozen if I was in New York, though. You guys, I honestly uh, should have died a little bit ago or even uh, killed somebody. I do want to thank CJ. This guy pulled over for me. 
and uh, he helped me out and I really appreciate it. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes since we last spoke. So what ended up happening was I changed my tires out at Dan's as you guys saw. I actually pulled over on this exit, the one I'm at right now. I went a mile, left rear tire fell off. Like it fell off, like the Ron White joke. Like it, it fell off. So I just feel my truck was shaking and I'm like, oh shit, I popped the tire. So I go to pull off to the side of the road and then all of a sudden I feel the ass end drop down and sparks start flying. And I thought I just popped a tire or I popped two tires. So then I pull over to the side of the road and I start looking at the rotor and there's no tire there, there's no rim there. But here I'm so freaking tired that I don't even realize that. And I'm like, holy cow, it popped a tire. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's no wheel here. So the wheel fell off, luckily it didn't hit anybody, luckily it didn't kill anybody, that tire is extremely heavy. And, and with the velocity and the speed I was going, it, it could have went through somebody's windshield, it could have caved somebody's car in. Like, this night reminds me of Tanner Fox's video, the time that he got in that car accident and thought he was a goner. The, the weirdest part about all of it is he said he had a gut feeling that something was going to happen. So not only did Tanner get a gut feeling, but I also had a gut feeling. I'm like, am I hungry? Am I this? I'm, no, it was just a gut. My gut was just churning just moments before that happened. Just moments. Like It's amazing how this, this whole thing we call life works. And I just find it very, very odd or very, very significant that I pulled over a mile before that happened. Prior to that, I was going 90 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour. I got on the, I got back on the thruway. I probably hit 75 miles an hour, and luckily that's all I was going. So I'm at a parts place right now. I'm in their parking lot. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna get in there. Hopefully they have the parts I have. If they don't, I'm gonna have to find somewhere near me. Um, I'm running six lugs on each one of my tires. They originally take eight. My whole, I'll show you guys tomorrow. I torqued every lug knot before I left. What I failed to do was retorque them after a significant amount of miles. So when you do change your tires out, you do change your wheels out, make sure you, <laughs> make sure you tighten up the lugs. You guys know, that's what really irritates me. You guys know that I do that. Like I go like 10 miles, 100 miles, and then I check them. And this time I didn't, and I was going even faster than I usually do. If you guys wanna hear more about it, I'll speak of it tomorrow. I'm, I'm tired. I'm just gonna have to leave my truck running all night to keep me warm. I'm extremely proud of CJ, the guy who helped me. He, um, he volunteers his time to an organization called Chive. I'm not too sure of it, but I did tell him that I really appreciated his help and I, I gave him a hug and I just started crying. That's, that's what, what started me crying is to just see that this world does have some good people in it. So that's, I'm just thankful that somebody was out there to help me kind of thing. And I'm not usually a crybaby, but my appreciation if you ever see somebody in need, give them a helping hand. I know from now on I will. 3D Machines out.